Hello, family. It's Ariana, your Tarot Life Coach, bringing you your October reading, big baby. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. How are we doing? I didn't realize that it was like about to be October in a few days, and we hadn't even gotten started on reads. So, these readings are all about love. They are for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for love. So, let's talk about how those readings are going to go. We're going to go into a general, we're going to go into a single, we're going to go into a couples, and then all signs. All right. And if you want a career read or anything like that, we might be able to do them later on this month. All right. So let's see what we got going on for this month. On October 2nd, we have the new moon solar eclipse in what? In Libra. And you are focused on that compassion, baby. You are all about feeling it. You're going to be in your feels. You're going to be wanting to connect. There could be a lot going on in the world and you're going to be wanting to be involved in some way with that. All right. Now, if you enjoy tarot and you want to hang out a little bit more, you should come on over to Instagram on Tuesdays from 5.30, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time and come get a reading. All right, because we go live for happy hour and we have a great time. All right, on the ninth, we have Jupiter retrograde, 21 degrees in the sign of who? You, Gemini, it's in your sign, all right? So Jupiter is going back. It's going to give you some blessings. It's going to work with you. And on the 11th, we have Pluto going direct, 29 degrees Capricorn. 29 degrees is a really interesting degree um, just because when people have this in their chart, they might feel very rushed in that area. There's a lot about transformation coming in. And so... Pluto is going direct in the sign of Capricorn. It's bringing everything to um, the light, okay? So be prepared. Everything has been coming to the light, all right? On the 13th, Mercury enters into a Scorpio, okay? This means communication is going to be getting very deep. People are really trying to move into a different direction. We're really speaking from our hearts. Things are going for change, all right? And then on the 17th, we have the full moon in Aries, 24 degrees, while Venus is also entering into Sagittarius. Sagittarius are going to be looking extra good, all right? But you're really focused on healing right now. Compassion and healing is your guide right now. You're moving forward. I kind of feel like you are making a lot of big changes in your life. You're seeing things for you're seeing things differently. You want things to move in a different direction. Oh, that got really dark. I'm so sorry. Now, on the 22nd, call up your Scorpio because it's their season. Ew. All right. So let's get into your Oracle reading. Very interesting that the astral energy coming in for you is that of a Scorpio. So there's this vibe about you coming in. There's a lot of transformation, like very deep transformation. Some of y'all could be going into therapy, thinking about therapy, thinking about really expressing yourself. There could be changes in um, finances, other people's money, death, dying. Not like that, like people are dying, but there's a lot of things that are changing in your life. There's like a rebirth actually coming in for you, and the eighth house could be very important for you. Now, the animal energy you have is no other than the raven. Raven energy is really interesting. Ravens are really big and huge, okay? They're also tied to the energy of Odin. There is a lot of change coming in. It's just like it's trying to tell you there's a lot of changes. Like, caca, caca. You know, it's trying to tell you. It's a warning, all right? Now, in love, we have this energy of the muse coming in. And so this muse energy is about you really finding out what excites you, what entices you, what makes you feel loved, what is the beauty out there. And I do think that there are some changes coming in again with the master artesian. So I do think there's a lot to learn in a situation. I feel like you're trying to learn yourself again, learn what it is that you like, what you want, what you desire. There's so many changes coming in um, that you don't really know like, do you still feel the same that you used to, okay? So there's a lot of that energy coming in with your oracle. And then we have chopping wood, all right? That means just keep doing you, baby. Don't get too eccentric. Don't get a crazy. Just do you. Be happy and move forward. All right, let's get into the general. What is going on generally in love for our beautiful... Gemini's. Let's see here. We have caution, caution. You need more information in order to move forward. Mercury retrograde. So you could be having some issues with your car, issues com with communication. There could have been something that happened in the previous Mercury retrograde that was brought to, to the forefront. And now you're like, oh, wait, we need a little bit more information before we move forward. And someone's got a confession, big baby. They got something to say to you. All right. There's something major coming in there. And overall, you could be dealing with an 
earth sign. All right. So Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. All right. Or that is one of your majors. Now, there's some insane chemistry going on with the caution sign. So there's a lot of like bursting desires. All right. The Mercury retrograde could have caused a separation. You could have stopped talking to someone you, but you could be really missing someone right now, really thinking about them, probably because they're thinking about you. And the confession was, um, somebody was wearing a mask with you. Somebody was acting like they didn't care as much as they should have, or maybe that was your energy. Remember, take the parts that fit and leave the rest for someone else. But it's almost like, uh, you're just like, I'm, it's a little too late. I've moved on and I've healed, you know, and, um, I'm really trying to move past this, all right? So let's see here which deck do we want to use. We're going to go to the cats. We're just going to check in. We're going to see what's going on here. And then we're going to go right into the singles, all right? So what do we have here in the past for you guys? We have a three of wands, so a lot of success, a lot of seeing things differently. See how his ears are kind of pulled back? So I feel like you're kind of like, you thought something was going to go better than what it what it did, okay? But now you're ready for the big damn dirty changes. There's that transformation. There's that Scorpio energy, the death card, right? The death card is all about huge transformations coming to the forefront for you. And the 13th could be very important, okay? Now, moving forward, we have the Six of Cups. So there's a death to something that was like maybe maybe there was a pattern in your life or a pattern in your love life that you're just like completely over. And sometimes when we're over things, they do reappear and they like test us, okay? But we're really focused on starting something new. We're going to invest in something new. We're going to invest in our healing. We're going to move forward. And um, the moon is saying, yeah, we're completely ready for this. There's also a revelation of something new, a new endeavor coming in, a new possibility at work. Um, but I also feel like you did not see this coming. Pay attention to that new moon solar eclipse because that's initiating a whole new energy right there, okay? And then overall, we have the king of cups. So we could have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming in that's making a confession that wants to move to the next level. Or maybe you have that in your chart that's very heavy and you're really in your emotions and you're feeling good about things and you're ready to move forward. So I want to clarify what this death card has for us. What does the death card have? The the nine of pentacles with judgment so huh, so at this point we're just like look i have done really well by myself i've done i've moved forward i'm ready to make these decisions i'm ready to move forward i'm ready to make the changes and that is when the six of cups shows up and you walk away with the eight of cups so i wouldn't be surprised if someone from the past does pop up you know hey hey remember me remember me and you're like yeah, i do and i would like to forget you <laughs> Anyways, we're investing in something new, something good. The Ace of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. There's also a possibility of a contract coming in, an agreement, an alliance. So we're investing and we're talking about it. We're moving forward. And the moon wants you to know the Five of Cups with the Page of Swords. We are no longer crying over spilled milk, as they say. Like in the Five of Cups, I think they're like, the wine don't even be whining anymore. It don't even taste good. So maybe you go and revisit something from the past and it's just not the same for you. And you're like, you know what? I am ready to learn something new. I am ready to move forward and you see the book there so there could be something even about you receiving like a self-help book or starting a new kind of training or development where you're feeling yourself more like you're ready to express yourself and the king of cups says look you are the whole package you deserve that and then some so overall i do think gemini's are dealing with people who want to come back kind of want to just see if they still have that connection with you and you're just like you're not with the sh with the shenanigans you're not with that anymore um and you're ready to move forward all right, this is the part of the reading where we get into our beautiful singles. Singles and ready to mingle, right? So let's see what we have for our singles. All right, single Gemini, sun, moon, and a rising. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got here? What do we got here? We got problems with addiction, gambling, or bad finances. Watch them, watch your coins, Gemini. You could be dealing with someone who's also having some money issues. There's some commitment coming in. Things are getting serious for you. And someone is questioning some things in the relationship. They're not sure what they want, who they want, and what's going on. Intimacy is something that you're desiring, you're wanting to be. There's a lot of sexual chemistry going on, a lot of reminiscing. But there is something with finances that could be affecting the relationship. So let's go a little bit deeper and see what's going on the person who's having issues with their finances is watching you very closely okay there has almost like they're stalking you like they're trying to figure you out okay now you could be dealing with multiple people here i don't know your life boo i don't know okay the commitment card 
is things are getting serious, but you feel like you have to look over your shoulder. You feel like there's someone trying to get in the middle of it because you are like, wait a minute, are you sure about this? And they're going to tell you exactly how they feel. Expect that call. Expect that message of love. They are thinking about you. And with the intimacy card, they are thinking about a commitment, okay? They have never felt this way for you before, and you've never felt this way for them. I do think that there is someone trying to slither in. It could be on your side or theirs. But it's like, come on, guys. We're soulmates. We're soulmates. We're, we're good together, Gemini. So it's about you really making those choices and the decisions on how you would like to move forward, right? Now remember, this is just a general reading. If you would like a personal reading, you can hit me up on my link tree and we can connect, baby. I'm going to put those um, readings that I do on the side and on the end of the video. So if you'd like to connect with me, you're more than welcome. Also, I am on TikTok. You can come on over. We do really quick reads over there until I can go live. All right. Okay, let's see here. Where are singles at right now? What is going on in their love life? We have the King of Pentacles here. So we are the fourth, like on the bottom of the read, this is the base level. There is an offer coming in for you. You're really trying to clear your mind, you know, invoke, and the rest will follow. Mm -mm -mm. You're trying to clean things up. I really feel like you're ready for something new, something to come your way, but you're standing your ground and you're like, look, I have made a lot of changes in my life and you have got to at least meet this criteria before you jump on this ride, okay? So what else do we need to know? We have here the Six of Swords. We're ready to move on. We're ready to move forward, leaving things behind because we want to grow and develop with that Seven of Pentacles. Overall energy, we have the Magician coming through for you. So you're also making that magic happen. You're creating things. Remember that as above, so below. I also think that you're leaving things that are not for you anymore, whether they're behaviors or whatever it is. It doesn't always have to be a, a person that we're leaving. It could be like old behaviors that we have, right? So we have the King of Pentacles coming through, and let's get some clarity here with this energy, the Emperor. So I do feel like this is who's watching you. I do feel like the King of Pentacles is watching you. They admire you. They think like, wow, this person really has it together. Gemini really has it together. There could have been a very um, interesting situation that happened between you guys that caused it to fall apart, okay, and which ended in the Ten of Cups, and you realizing like there was something that was ended and over, and I do think that this individual could have you know, skedaddled, okay? Like maybe they didn't stick it around as much as they as they should have, right? Now the Ace of Swords says you are entertaining something new with the Knave of Swords. So there's that Page of Swords energy again. And I do feel like whatever you're entertaining kind of makes you feel like a superstar. <laughs> Okay, like they make you feel so good about yourself. Okay, but you always feel like you got to watch your back because of the past that you had with this individual. And I wouldn't be surprised if this individual still watches your social media, still tries to reach out. Oh, we're still friends. Oh, the hell with that. We're not friends. You hurt me. All right. Nine of Wands is saying you have to make a major decision with judgment. Okay, and something could have happened on um, the 20th of September. Something could have happened on the 20th of September where you kind of put a boundary down and you're like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm not, I'm not doing that anymore. And you moved on with that double nine. Some of y'all could be experiencing a major move because of the tower, like a quick move this month. We're moving. And then we have the Six of Swords here, and the Six of Swords is saying the Queen of Pentacles. So we're kind of moving on from something. We could have been in a very committed relationship with someone, and due to a tower moment, whatever it was, a sudden move, sudden information came out, we've decided to move on. What does the Queen of Pentacles want you to know? The Six of Cups. So we're really releasing that. We're releasing the past. We're moving forward. The Eight of Cups. And that is the second time the Six of Cups comes out right by the, oh, that's the Eight of Pentacles. That's Six and the Eight energy, okay? And I kind of feel like um, you're moving on from a situation that no longer, you know, it's not enthusiastic anymore. She's really not feeling this situation. Like, she's just like, mm, okay. And some of y'all could go back to it and kind of see what you're feeling. And it's just, it does not have that same loving feeling. So the Seven of Pentacles says you're going to go with something new with the Ace of Swords. You are going to go for something new and exciting and fun with the Eight of Wands. And I do think that there's this energy of talking to someone new, something exciting coming through. The 18th could be important. The 6th, the 8th, 
the 9th, 13th, 15th, and 18th could be very important. All right. And then let's look at the magician. The magician says the queen of wands. This, this energy is like they admire so much about you. They admire so much about you. Pay attention to that full moon energy on the 17th. And this, there could also be somebody at work that is admiring you because I have the three of pentacles looking at me. So overall, I kind of feel like singles, you have a situation where someone allowed, um, something to cause it to fall apart you're ready for the intimacy you're ready to move forward remember everyone has a different story it could be that this king of pentacles has decided like look i can't live without you another day gemini i gotta be with you and they come forward and they're offering love and you're releasing the past you're and you're going to start over and for others you've just really decided to go in a different direction you want something new you're going for the commitment you're not going to be in a situation where somebody makes you feel like you're being questioned so if we're not in contact if we're not in contact with someone and we kind of want to get a little bit of insight of what what that's about right like because everybody's in different things the people that are not in contact and want to know what's going on with that individual what is it they do have that confession that's the second time it comes they feel very unclear like there's unfinished business there's a lot of gossip maybe you all have like a lot of friends in common and they are wondering if you're going to forgive them and they miss you your absence means a lot to them. Okay, let's see here. I want to treat you the way you deserve. That's the confession. I need to tell you the truth about the gossip, okay? They need to tell you the truth. And forgiveness, I wish you were here with me and with the absence card. I'm ready for commitment, and that actually fell on the wedding ring. So this is, there could be one, some of you guys dealing with someone who says, hey, I'm really ready for this. I don't know what I was thinking. I shouldn't have done that, um, and I'm ready to come back. And remember, everyone has a different situation. Everyone has different things going on. Um, so choose wisely. Take a look at everything before you make those decisions and choices. I was watching a, a like a post earlier today, and it was like if communication, if this person could not talk, what would their actions tell you? And that's what we have to really focus on. Because if what you're looking at for is a true connection, a real connection, and you keep allowing someone to come in with mediocreness, and it's kind of manipulation because they only pull out all the all the stunts when you've walked away, right? All the stunts, then you kind of like allow that energy to come in. So let's see for those of us who are looking for something new, what kind of person is coming in for Gemini? How do they look? How how do they look? Let's see here. We got the lady. Okay. Taurus energy. We got the crossroads. That is, um, they could be mixed. They could have a lot of highlights in their hair. Libra energy. Okay. Libra. Ew. We got Leo energy. Very young looking, fun, young, fun, and full of what? Stunning energy. That's what it is. And they could be older, but they look super young. Okay. And then we have the clouds here. So this is also another uh, two-tone hair, blue-green eyes, Pisces energy, or even gray hair. Okay. There's something about having two colors. Okay. And let's get clues on how you could meet them. How can they meet them? How will they know that this is a good match for them? So Taurus energy wants you to know La Feminista. Okay, so I feel like this is for someone who has really got their eye on someone who like you really admire how their strength are. They stand in their power. And there's something about the number 222 two, two with that, okay? The crossroads, making a major decision, a broken heart. This person is really nervous about coming forward to you. And you could be going out, and when you're going out, it is raining, okay? But they, like, offer you the umbrella, or they're, like, very, what is it? Not not chauvinistic. They're very, um, what is the word? I can't even think about it. They're very romantic. They do all the nice gestures. I can't even think of the word. And we have someone who's going to try to connect with you online, okay? A lot of talking. You have the number 22 showing up twice here. So it's very significant to um, seeing the number 222 to get confirmation. There was also something that could um, come into play for you. Maybe that June 22nd has something for, for the connection. And I do think that they get very nervous around you. They get very, very nervous. And I'm looking at the dog here at the bottom of the deck. And this is both Aquarius energy for me. So I kind of feel like very like playful friendship kind of vibe. You didn't see this coming and that could be their confession to you too, right? Like you didn't see that coming. 
Let's see, what is some initials? What are some initials here? We have G for Gigi, we got N for Nigel, and we got an O for Olivia, okay? Let me get one more, one more, and we have an A, all right, for Ari. I don't know, maybe it's me. Who knows? Anyways, that's what I have for you singles. I hope you enjoyed your read. We are going to jump into our couples. Let's see what our couples have. We're going to be using the kitty cats for that. Let's see. Or did we already use the kitty cats? I'm not sure. Let's see. What do we have for our couples? These are people who know they're together. Let's get your oracle cards real quick. Okay, let's get your oracle. Let's get you going here. What do our couples have? coming their way. Ew. We have give it time. Give it time. Everything needs perfect timing. Things will flow and grow. Health issues could arise in this relationship um, and someone is unavailable. If you notice this, it is time to move on, okay? And there's something about pets. Maybe you're getting a new pet together. I know I'm getting a pet soon. I'm super excited. Can't wait to share it. It'll be around December. I'll finally get to pick them up. So I'm super, super excited. I'm getting a teacup um, schnauzer. Super, super excited. All right, what are we giving it time? Blowing kisses. So there's a lot of like unconditional love. There's a lot of affection being returned. The health comes in with the snake. Okay, competition. Look, I feel like someone is dealing with a lot of anxiety that could be affecting your sleep and your health. And move on if someone is making you not feel like you are not enough, okay? And with the pets, we have a lot of inner wounds, okay? So, oh, maybe I'll have a pet involved. We need lots of snuggles this month, couples. We are really needing some snuggle, some snuggles, okay? We need snuggles. Let's see, what does the cats have for you? All right, this reading is for our couple, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Gemini. I also feel like someone needs to go get their eyes checked. I don't know, go get your eyes checked. Maybe you can see why you're with them. No, I'm just kidding. Get your eyes checked. Get your eyes checked. Get your eyes checked. Okay, let's see here. What's their story? The Eight of Pentacles. All they do is work, 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 work. Ew, ew. They're kind of disappointed and stuff right now. They're thinking about the Five of Cups. And they see you as the Queen of Swords, Gemini. They see you as very strong and powerful. They're like, damn, Gemini is always on their stuff, man. Gemini is all about them boundaries. Mm, let's see how's your partner acting hierophant i think they're working on making this relationship um more committed okay with the hierophant there's a lot about books there maybe they're booking a vacation or something of that nature all right what comes between y'all is the high priestess so trust your intuition Ew, okay and overall the seven of cups you're kind of unsure about the situation you're not sure where it wants to go and we have the emperor at the top. Okay, so this person wants to be in control, baby. They want to be in control. They want to make it happen, Captain. So let's see. Let's get some clarity, baby. Clarity on the situation. I'm going to move those there. And I'm going to use the tarot of sexual magic. Okay. We have this eight of pentacles vibe. And he's got like all these potions and stuff like that working on things. But you know what I see coming out of his pot? Like, there's a little bit of a question mark. Like, I feel like your, your partner could be a little bit unsure about what's going on and what's happening. Okay? There they are as the magician. So I feel like they want to make this magical. They want to make this work. But they're just like, they don't know how. But they're going to go for it. The fool, right? They're going to go for it. And then we have the Six of Wands. I really feel that there is a lot of attraction to you, like, especially, like, the bottom portion, because that's what he's like, I'm feeling on your booty. You remember that? Anyways, and the number 106 could be important. I don't know why. 106 in Park, and I'm, like, really showing my age. But they, like, they want to go on a trip with you. They want to make something happen. I, I remember said book. Book it. Like, they want to book a trip. Oop. Five of Cups. We're clarifying the Five of Cups. Y'all don't laugh at me. Like, I'm, like, my most relaxed clothes right now. Like, I was chilling all day. We have the Nine of Pentacles. You could be also dealing with an individual who, like, it's been a long time since they've been in a relationship. And they're like, whoa, I don't know. Am I really ready to cut this off? I don't know. And, yeah, there's that trip, that Nine and that Ten. The Ten of Pentacles, right by the Nine of Pentacles. They really want to book a trip. Gemini, where are we going? What are we doing? I want to know. The Queen of Swords with the Three of Swords. Okay. <laughs> 
your parent, your parent, your partner could have really messed up and like you're just like not okay with it. Like Gemini is not playing. They know it. Okay. They also feel like maybe you have something else going on that you're hiding and it doesn't have to be another relationship. It could be finances. It could be a little white lie. It could be something, but they feel like something as sneaky is going on. So what does the higher fit want you to know? The higher fence at the Ace of Pentacles. Every time I see this card, I think about, can we just start over? Can we really invest in the relationship? But the high priestess is saying the nine of wands. Someone could be asking to move in together, move forward, but it's like almost like they don't want to talk about something, and you do. Why is that? You're Okay, temperance. Take your time. You're going to get the information that you need, and it does lead to a lot of celebrating. And I'm going to say this is not for everybody. Somebody is going to spill the beans when they're a little too tipsy, okay? Seven of Cups, what do you have here? This is going to lead to a very in-depth conversation with the Two of Wands. Very in-depth conversation. And I feel like the Emperor Energy is saying, look, don't let the past come back. If this is a behavior that keeps resurfacing and resurfacing and resurfacing, then we need to like really look at the whole picture, right? Because that two of pentacles makes me feel like a little sneaky. And then I have the emperor again. So I have the number um, 424 coming out, okay? Could be April 24th, okay? That could be important. But there's this energy here of wanting to be in control and I feel like they're very tested by you like Gemini they're like whoa like Gemini is not going to play with me they admire you so much they want to make this happen they want to make everything happen but I don't know what this person did in the past that you're just like no not today my friend okay but overall it ends in happiness with the sun so whatever that question was that you had in your mind it's a yes okay everybody is going through different situations I do feel like uh, that, yeah, you guys have both been through a lot together and you're trying to make major decisions on how to move forward. I don't think this is going to be that month where you make the major decision of how you're going to do that because of the eclipse and like with all the energy that's going on. So let's just get like some guidance from the Lenormand for you. What do they need to know right now? Let's see here. We have the anchor stability getting cut so there's an ending to the stability a new a new place of living a new job a new building um and then there's the lady with the the cross so this is kind of telling me like you might not see this coming but there is a, there's like everything was super stable everything was okay all right and then there's like something that comes out of nowhere it, like comes out of nowhere we might be moving to a new place getting a new job and it feels like a major burden um what is their solution we have the journal so there's that confession um something is being blocked in the heart don't block your heart this time okay and the money is going to be okay for you i do think for those who are getting a new position or a new job it's going to be okay it's just a little scary for you all right i know it's pretty much all over the place let's get you some guidance let's get you some guidance and this is for couples and singles we're just going to pull from this deck and get some guidance what is some guidance for our beautiful Gemini's it's time to get into our spirituality it's really time to pray the number five could be very important we need to not pay attention to hostile energy and it's right there by that snake so I'm gonna say there is someone who tries to get in between you and your partner or they try to get in your ear it could be a friend it could be a lover it could be whatever okay but this energy needs to be kind of like taken away okay because it is causing financial constraints and your relationship could be getting hit a lot by financial issues the door to spirit there's also something about getting more people around you feeling secure um and i'm gonna say be very very careful and, and if the the relationship gets very heated you gotta go baby don't stick around okay because the laws could be called and i do think there's something about moving into a new house or a new home that's causing a lot of financial issues and anxiety as i had said earlier maybe some l-theanine would be good okay some ashagawanda let's get on our herbs all right baby so overall i do think that you're going to make the right decision but i do think that this is one of those months that you're taking inventory as they say right you're going to be taking inventory 
Okay, this is, whoa, the part of the read where we go all signs. We're going to go Aries to Pisces, all right? Remember, this is a general reading, and if it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. Don't give your power to the chorus. You got the power, baby. All right, I'm cutting the deck. So we are getting away from um, non-conventional relationships. We're not going to play that game anymore. Like, if you can't offer me the whole kit and caboodle we're just not doing it anymore we're going to move forward we're going to move on and we're going to enjoy ourselves all right gemini let's see what we got here for you big baby there we go that's it all right gemini you are the queen of wands you're the baddest ew ew all right that's my little boosie card okay you're i-n-z-e-p-e-n-d-e-n-t do you know what i mean ew ew you're really like and you look good you're looking good and Aries feels a little bit betrayed because you're looking too good, Gemini. And there could have been some discussions that over drinks that led to a situation where Aries felt very attacked. Because Gemini, you got the words. You got the word power. Like you are quick and cunning with the tongue. All right. Important day for you is the 19th. Here you are as the chariot. Ew. Out the chariot. You're moving on. You're moving forward. You're making it happen. All right. And Taurus is making some bad decisions. The solution is, look, these are all majors. So this could be like a huge, um, a huge time for you guys. The decision is to surrender to the universe and not allow bad decisions to keep you in a place where you don't need to be. The third could be important. Here you are, baby. Here you are as the princess of pentacles. You got everything together, but you ain't even looking at the other Gemini because Gemini is not giving enough back to you. And the communication is boo-boo. Okay, there's a lot of miscommunication going on. The 11th could be important. Here you are healing, taking your time for a swords. And Cancer is like planning the future. They're like, I love me, my Gemini. <laughs> I don't even care what happened. We're going to make it work. Gem um, cancer does not even care. You've taken a step back, though. You're kind of looking at things like we really need to talk about these issues. And Cancer's like, oh, I found these new houses in the market, and I think we should get them. <laughs> okay, the fourth could be important. Here you are as the queen of pentacles. Baby, Gemini, you holding it down, all right? And Leo said, let's go, all right? Buckle up, buttercup, let's go for it, okay? They want to rewrite history with you, all right? This is starting something new, fresh, exciting. And this is a trump card, okay? There's also something about a trip for you guys because I have this nine down here. So this could be like a secret getaway. I like it. I love it. All right, 13th could be important. Here you are as the Ten of Cups reverse. You kind of feel like things aren't going the way that you really want them to go. Virgo is having some financial issues or seeing really mean things with their mouth. And it's like a mixed bag. And where somebody is ready to walk away, the 11th could be important. Here you are as the Empress. You look good. You feel good. You're creative. You're making your money, baby. You're looking amazing. Ew. Okay, and you're fertile. Okay, fertile, fertile, myrtle. And Libra. Wait, no. We got, yeah, Libra. <laughs> Libra don't know what to do. You don't broke all the walls down for them. All right. And there's possibly a baby. Okay. Or a new relationship or breakthrough. We're initiating something new. This is exciting. This is exciting, friend. The 17th could be important. Okay. Now, here you are praying very, very hard. And Scorpio is like, look, we can make a change. We can make it balance. We can work this out. And we have to drop this miscommunication. This miscommunication is not working for anyone. Also, someone is carrying a lot of baggage in this relationship and that has to change your prayer is about the runner there's a lot of fear of intimacy um there's a lot maybe you should even research your attachment style gemini to kind of see how you want to move forward and if this is a healthy relationship for you important day the 19th here you are you want to put a ring on it you want to get me ring me you want to celebrate okay and sagittarius is praying about it and the solution is releasing the past. I also feel like a Sagittarius could have done something in the past that they really want to be forgiven about. Okay? Or whatever. Vice versa. Cutting out separation. Stopping the pattern. They want something to change. Alright? They want something to change. They're ready for the change. The ninth could be important. Here you are. You are not passionate. You are not excited. You are not wanting to pass. Go. And Capricorn is like, I ain't moving either. Okay, two stubborn people, and that's because someone is in the middle causing problems. Queen of Cups vibe, the 12th could be important. Y'all could also be dealing with like a meddlesome mother or someone who is trying to tell y'all how to do things, okay? Here we are at the Three of Cups, baby. Gemini looking good, 
and Aquarius is hard at work, okay? But I do feel like y'all might have some outside energy in this relationship, and we got to drop the burdens, meaning we got to get rid of all the ops, okay? All the ops got to go, all right? The second could be important. And the second is that new moon um, solar eclipse, right? Um, in Libra. Here you are as the damn dirty devil, my friend. Grrr, you sexy boo. Okay, Gemini. And Pisces is running. <laughs> they are not feeling this. And the solution is bringing everything to the forefront. I almost want to say, you know, Pisces is neglecting their feelings. I almost feel like this is like um, friends with benefit situation. And um, something is going to be brought up to the forefront. All right. Be prepared for revelations. The 18th could be important. I hope you have a wonderful month, Gemini. Stay tuned. We have more things to come. Let me know if we need to do an eclipse read. And don't forget to come over to Instagram on Tuesdays at 5.30, 6.30 p.m. Central Standard Time to get a reading. Readings are 11.11 and 22.22. Take care and be blessed.